Okay, so uh, help video here for X23 mission number 8. And first of all, I'm going to show you what the combo looks like, and then secondly, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can actually do this, how you actually overcome this uh, mission. So I'll show you what it looks like. My camera's at an angle, but whatever. Okay, first tip, uh, make sure you're at full screen, uh, or mid screen, in order to do this. Um, this combo doesn't work in the corner because of uh, the magneto assist and the fact that um, X-23 kicks them out of the, well doesn't kick, I guess slices them out of the um, assist. Uh, if you do this. You see there that um, the, because, the, because the charge move is three hits, what happens is that you'll have, have them in this bit, but then she slices them out. That's the problem, is that you can hit them with one, get them into the assist, and the last hit is what, kicks them, is what hits them out, which is what makes it hard. This combo isn't exactly specific, this mission even isn't exactly specific on the fact that you have to be mid-screen in order for this to connect. If you put it, if you put it at the bottom, I'm pretty sure um, it wouldn't be as hard, but that's probably what most people don't actually know, is that you've got to be mid-screen in order for this to work, because in the combo it just doesn't work. Um, also, the, the timing... Oh wait, I've gone to mission 9. You also have to get the timing down for the assist and the ankle slice at the same time. I believe it's called the ankle slice. I don't even know the names of these moves in this game. Yeah, ankle slice. It's just the timing and the uh, of the assist and ankle slice. And the, the assist is quite strict, but the ankle slice you've got quite some time. So I'll uh, show you again and show you the timings of when I press the assist. You can see it down here at the bottom for the um, assist and when the ankle slice comes out. Those are just the timings for getting the OTG. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the timings again and when I press the buttons. Oh wait, whoops. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Stupid. Oh, I actually pressed white bumper there, that is another uh, part of the combo. And it's it's this part here. You need to. It's kind of it's sort of like plinking the assist and the. Um, that's kind of like it's kind of like plinking. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like how you do it. Um, do the assist and then. Oh yeah. That's how you want to have it at the end. It didn't mark it off because I'm on mission number eight again. <laughs> I mean, mission nine, so we're not another one. But as you can see, like after a while, it just takes practice of learning when the assist is and when the um, ankle slice comes out. So I'll show you one last time. And this. <laughs> oh. Damn it! Oh, no, I'm messing this up. Making sure that you're at mid-screen, um, and make sure that you've got the timing down, because there is a, it, the timing for the um, the assist is pretty damn strict. I'm tired as well, like extremely tired. I've had like five bottles of Mountain Dew today. <laughs> oh, I should probably stop drinking that stuff, you know. Messed it up there. I know there's not like probably not it's probably not as helpful, but there isn't really much you can say other than make sure you're mid screen and that you get the timing for the assist down. As a, a way to time the assist is that as soon as Wesker bounces off the ground, then you want to press the assist button. Then, so I'll sh I'll point out that I'll point out I'll point it out. Now I'll do it. Once Wesker bounces off the floor, that's really when the ideal time for pressing the assist. Um, I know it's pretty rough, poor video, but <laughs> hopefully, the, hopefully this helps. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say, but my room smells of cheese and my cat's eating tissue. <laughs>